Lord, I, I pray that your everlasting joy mm. fill our hearts and the anticipation of mm. uh, your presence and your move and your power mm. will ready our minds and our spirits mm. uh, to join with you, Lord, mm. as we come together in your name to fellowship with you, mm. with you, Heavenly Father, with you, mm. our brother jesus christ as fellow sons in god's house mm. lord we gather uh hopefully with a hearing ear mm. and a willing heart mm. and lord indeed we want to to hear from you and to confirm and affirm with one another your living ways mm. lord may it be that every time that we gather uh, that, that we make an inscription on our own hearts mm. Uh, and a commitment to you mm. uh, and and that the word of truth that you that you bring to us lord will be something that lasts for eternity yes lord mm. lord we also look for uh, those things which apply to the practical life of a son of god in mm. the flesh on the earth <laughs> mm. We know that it will not always be this way. You have promised us someday mm. to transform even these bodies made of the dust of the earth. Mm. But in the meantime, uh, you call us to present these bodies to you, mm. our lives on this earth, as a sacrifice that, that remains alive. Mm. And so it, it's meant to be put to use for your service. Mm. And Lord, we want to learn better how to do that uh, in faith, in obedience, and with love and joy. Mm. Lord, I pray for the dear brothers and sisters here gathered with us uh, mm. in in uh, Bongoma. Mm. Lord, that you would bless their lives. Lord, that you would touch each heart and mind mm. that has made uh, the effort uh, to come to this place. Lord, to join together for fellowship mm. in your name. Lord, mm. I pray that not one, not one would leave mm. without a good uh, vessel full mm. of the good things from your table, mm. and of those things that will bring life to their life, oh, your life. Yeah. So Lord, bless each one. Uh, Lord, I pray that the strategies of the enemy would be thwarted Mm. Lord, that you would keep our connection secure. Mm. Uh, and Lord, that even in the deeper places of the spiritual realm, Lord, that you will loosen the bounds on hearts and minds mm. and lives. And Lord, for each one, I know that many live in situations of difficulty, hardship. Mm. Lord, that you would become their provider, protector, healer, mm. and restorer in wow. all things yeah, so Lord, we give you this time we bless your holy name mm. amen man amen man hallelujah mm. okay bless the lord bless the lord amen, amen. hey sister violet how are you doing Hi. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you amen thank you you got Amen. you got made the move for the most part settled. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh great! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now let me not uh, rob the time. Come back to you, brother Moses and sister Wallet. Amen. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Mm. Amen. Mm. You might want to speak into the mic, Moses, again, don't away from the mic, yes, I'm yes. sorry. Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, we are thankful to the Lord for, mm. for making such a time as this for us to have to be uh, in a new place. Right now we are in a new place. Oh, and great. We are grateful. Yes, we are, we are grateful to the Lord mm. for our brothers who have made it today. We are grateful indeed for, for His grace and mercy. Mm. Uh, we just want to also to say thank you, Brother Mene. I have for some people here who have some testimonies nice. of what God has done for them. Yeah, mm. what God has done for them. Yeah. Especially from your previous, uh, you know, previous fellowship. Um, <laughs> yeah. Some some of them, some of them can uh, test what God has done wow. in their lives. Mm. And um, 
we have been having a pastor whose life has been under, you know, he has been staying under the captivity of poverty and uh, we call it a witchcraft. Mm. The spirit of witchcraft has dominated their family. Mm. But uh, the time he began coming to this fellowship, as we, uh, you know, as we have been fellowshipping together, they did not have, the parents did not, you know, wanted him to leave the home. But now as we talk, um, you know, the, the, his parents have now accepted to, to, to shift, to relocate to a different area. Mm. And they have, uh, he has accepted to, to sell, you know, part of his portion and give him money so that he can get somewhere mm. that, where he can worship God freely. <laughs> and, uh, this... <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have many things now that uh, we have uh, a tight a tight program. We made two go later, huh? but let me go ahead and uh, yeah. see. We have uh, today. We have uh, some uh, four individuals who have uh, four brothers who have uh, joined us, and um, mm. we have uh, a engineer engineer Moses. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, brother. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Welcome. Amen. Yes. <laughs> you know, when I talk about engineering, he does the engineering and... Uh, oh, yeah? <laughs> what kind of engineering are so, you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a million kinds of engineering. So, you know, so. He's a conductor. He's a conductor, but at the same time... Today has been he has today we engineer him because uh Oh <laughs> we certainly <laughs> him. That's good one. Yeah, I like that. We will, we will do the engineering to him. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Hello brother. Hey man. Yes. My name is Steven Amango. Oh. Yeah. I'm so happy today. Okay. <laughs> happy to have you here. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Oh, there's another one there. I can't see. Okay. Hello, brother. Hello. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear your name. Repeat again. I want to hear your name. <laughs> yeah, Pastor Daniel. Daniel. Okay. Yeah. Welcome, brother. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 <laughs> Uh -huh. Pastor Fred. Oh, Pastor Fred. really? Pastor Fred. Okay, I forget. I forget what you look like. Let me see it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> well, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hello, brother. Oh, hello, brother. Amen. Welcome back. Yes. Uh -huh. Hello, brother. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Glory to God. God bless our time. Bless our brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh huh. Amen. Thank you for coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Father, we give you praise for our brother who is bringing your word. And uh, in our meetings, we pray that your spirit will speak to us. That your word will open our, our eyes and your word will show us and your light will shine in our lives and we will see more of your deep secret that Lord you are speaking to us today. Mm. That as a minister, as he comes, Lord, I will open our ears so that we can hear your word, Lord. It is you who we need. Mm. We give you praise that Lord you are with us. Mm. In Jesus' name we pray. In Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory Amen. to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, Moses, you tell me what we should do. So you want to share testimony? 
first, the one with some sharing no, time. You go ahead. I, these people, if we can allow me for them to speak now, they will. They want to hear from you. Oh, I see. <laughs> I want to hear from yeah. you guys. You know, so yes. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. want to hear from you, brother. Yeah. Yes. Well, one of the things may be helpful, brother. I know this day we have a phone. Every phone have recording capacities. You know. You can record somehow their testimonies. You can translate it for us, send our way. We would like to hear those testimonies. Also get to know individually as well. Mm. Yes. Those things don't have to be done by you. Maybe get some, you know, uh, proficient with uh, English and uh, either in writing form, that would be great, especially in translation into audio form, that would be great as well, send to us, so we can, you know, understand what to share, but some, I believe, are such a caliber and nature that we don't want to miss it, you know, so, yeah. I don't mm. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I mean, maybe. Um, I think uh, let me move on with the topic. I want to build the contest, gradually introduce why we want to teach what we teach. That's going to be a subject called the foundational teachings within the start. Last time we reviewed that has been a topic with it with you, uh, with this this kind of nature of fellowship on the topic of the order. Go ahead, brother. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm. On the mm, on the other Mrs. Deck on the other Mrs. Deck now, other Mrs. Deck is a designation of a ministry in heaven. Hallelujah. And on the Mrs. Deck, the Mrs. Deck, the Mujumbe and Bio in a talk of Kikuni entrusted the Son of God as a high priest. For the new covenant that he gave to us. The grace or the provision thereof are made ready for us on earth through his church to be ministered. In a sense, if there is a, a ministry in heaven, which is a pre-city or garment or array, then they shall seek a people on earth with the understanding and the proof of God to put into effect, put in effect in the midst of God's people. In in this light, Jesus Christ through the church is a representation of something the Father wants to do amongst mankind. So what is the church or ministry? How is to be divinely ordered or empowered, authorized? It's clearly... It's clearly the mission and most time the content of Jesus' ministry called discipleship. 
Hii ni safari ambayo inakuja na inaunganika na inaanza na mitume ama ama inaunganika na mitume ama wafuasi. Whereas um, in many parables, in many occasions, different uh, teachers in the New Testament, starting with Jesus, uh, we can also point to Peter, John, Paul. <coughs> I mean, the major authorship in the New Testament. Often use two, even three major. I mean, there are different par uh, parables used, but uh, let me just highlight two for our convenience. One is a seed, a child, and then grow up to be a full fledged man, full centered man. <laughs> If you will, that is the, the profession or the growth of a personal spiritual life. But it does refer also as a full flesh man, Jesus Christ being the head, we are the different members of the body. So it's used as God's people in the whole as well. You can see you know, like a DNA, you carry supposed to grow perfectly into the likeness of your father through the son. Just the the company here is the life of God and the organic ways of the profession completion from a baby, amen, from a potential of life to a reality life. But the point of view here is uh, from a one who is offspring of a father as a son. And God, turn with me to John the Gospel in 15 chapter. Let's look at this a little bit. God called this a process of revelation and a growth, you know? Revelation and a growth. Mm. Turn me to his, with me to 15th chapter. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm sorry. 15th chapter. Hallelujah. Let me see. Oh, for John the Gospel. Mm -hmm. Johanna. Mm. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In 1526, said, I try to now bring the third person, the Godhead, in that it is the Spirit. Hallelujah. In 26, 15, chapter, John the Gospels, 26. See, working united for this one purpose that is to fulfill the desire of God to have himself revealed through sonship into a body of Christ. Mm -hmm. 
nitakaye wapelekea kutoka kwa baba huyo ni roho wa kweli atakaye kwa baba yeye atanishuhudia mm. Hallelujah. Let's look at this. See, in 26, said when the counselor comes, I'm using an IV version, who I'm sending you to you from the Father, I, Father, the counselor, three persons here, in one mission. Um, the Spirit truth will go out from whom? From the Lord Jesus Christ or from the Father? From the Father. Amen. Why? The spirit of truth is a, is a reality of a life. It's, it's a, a life given in the fullness as a sum. For sure. And it cannot be from merely the sum. The life-giving spirit has to be from the Father. Amen? And uh, then... Embodying the Son. Become flesh. Dwell in flesh. First as a seed. Then as a baby. Then as a grown-up man. Mm -hmm. This process of growth of life testify mm -hmm. <coughs> the good news that Jesus is a preached and taught us. Which is the word of God become a flesh. Mm -hmm. When we believe this word, receive the initiation, this work of life, life giving work by the Holy Spirit, we can have the right to become a son's God. Eventually, then we grow into the fullness of Christ's life through the help of the Holy Spirit. Mm. This formation of life, this journey of life, testify the same kind of pattern, same kind of discipline will See, come teaching, if you will, uh, through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. It meant to produce the same kind of uh, nature, same kind of uh, substance and reality for life. In a letter, Utukufu, this mystery was hidden in the very beginning of God created all things after his own kind. Some us if a seed life is through the seed form then become a food bearing reproductive I mean life, am I? So like a tree, a fruit tree, like a greens. Mm -hmm. But the, the best of this creation, this pattern, or the crown of God's creation, is actually through man. Through man. Nataka umuone nwa dugu. Hii sasa katika umbaji na katika viunde vyote vya mungu. Na asima silipatia kukwisilipitia kwa mtu. In a sense, when God created the earth 
and give all creation its reproductive ability, other than the angelic realm. Nataka msiki. Mungu wakati aliumba hakuziwacha hivyo. Alipea uwezo wa kila kiumbe kufanya kazi. This this a whole economy. This a whole economy through reproductivity. Seed give light to another of its own kind. Ata kuna wakati tunakuwa na mbegu ya 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 kifedha, mbegu ya uchumi. Ndio naona kuna wengine wamepewa sifa tofauti ya uchumi. Kuna ile wa uchumi kuna wengine wanafanya zao ambazo zinaleta lazima ufanye kitu ambazo za maana za kuleta kuleta faida katika ufalme huu. Was given to man for stewardship for as inheritance as a caretaker lazima tujue hiyo hekima tunapewa na mali yote tunapewa sio yetu sisi ni walizi tu tunamba tunatuza vitu hizi tunatuza neema hii haujapewa tu neema umepewa ili utunze sio kuzeria kwenye wanamosi wa bwana in the time jesus and the apostles we don't have a modern day phenomenon or technologies so, so they use their everyday life for example to enlarge its things yeye haongee tu ya watu ambao wanachiumba na mambo leo wako na hii kesho yake wako na hii yake yake wako na hii yeye inaleta mchanganyo lakini yeye anaongea mambo ambayo inaleta usima kwa nafasi ya maisha ya watumishi wa Mungu And the one of the outstanding example, which is still today apply, would it be a son, a seed of a father, a son of a father grew up from a baby to a full mature son. Nataka mjue kwamba huyo hakuwa tu Yesu, alikuja kama mbebe na akakua, akapandwa, na akafanywa, na akaendelea hivyo. Leo hii yeye amekuwa mtoto wa Mungu. Now, let's apply a little bit to this contest. You have different devices, but they are not, um, let's see, a robot, a, 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 a machine, you know, AI, uh, like made like a, intelligent being even in the image of a man uko na mitambo mingi kuna wengine wanaweka mitambo yao na inaonekana kama mfano wa binadamu wengine wanaweka mitambo yao inaonekana kama mifano ya ndege na vitu mingi sana katika inakuita katika mipango yote na nyingine inacheza tu na yote ina inahusisha na akili yenye mwenye alifanya but from a computer to a robot like a man that's a lot of difference there kuna mitambo ambayo yeye amesoma kama kama ya hii mitambo kama hii yenye mnashika hii iko na mambo mengi sana ukicheza kuna vipindi mingi ukitaka ile wanawake kufanya nini na iko hapo ukitaka ile ya kufanya na magadi iko hapo ukitaka ile ya kukimbiza na ndege iko pale mitambo iko mingi ya kufanya kazi but when you break it down it's the same kind of programming seen by the hardwares made this happen na pio kivunja pia kuna madhara yake kwa sababu wewe utakuwa unafunja pia imani yako kwa sababu imani yako yana unafunja vitu vingi yana unaharibu mahali kwa sababu umeweka imani yako pale more than we call the science or technology the small in the word but in the past they called a life form. Uh-huh. So let's look at that. Computer, most likely, I mean, they can reproduce themselves. Mm-hmm. And kill. And until some high higher intelligence or someone made it, make it so to reproduce self. 
Unajua vile nakaa, inakaa kama ya akili. Lakini nataka muelewe kwenye hali itengeneza ndio na akili. Kwa sababu nataka ikuwe na akili zaidi kupita watu wengine. Hii mtambo kama hii yenye taongelea. Bayin yin code code the word of the fatherhood of that life belong to man who is this who is in your design that Unaona sasa inakuja na inakuletea mambo ambayo unashitakia ukiona unaanza kushtuka kwa sababu ilifanya na nini iliundwa na mtu If you use this as a poor picture for the angelic life you understand the limitation with angels to fulfill God's plan to have his own life reproduced ukiangalia maneno haya ni mfano kama malaika kama mtu taweka akili yake ishie hapa na ujui kwamba kuna akili nyingine yenye na shida hii ndio sasa utaumia kwa sababu kuna hali unajiweka ndani ambayo unaweza As much as you please with the best AI robot you can do all things Sometimes human being can even <laughs> keep away imagine capable doing mm-hmm. But as a creature, your satisfaction and joy with that creature is very much confined to a certain way. Let's use that same as in year now he get married he had a new baby Ah They will have the full joy and the burden to resent child even better than himself who knows <laughs> let's just like himself <laughs> but the fashion the satisfaction within life is not because what the child is capable of doing anymore is who he is That life is like yours. It's a part of you. It's your life. Your child may be not even able to speak or move or do anything but is your child. God our father love towards us is like that. It's a different than his satisfaction with his other creations especially angels. By design, if you understand, by make up your heart. Hope you are healthy man, healthy father. Mhm. You are not like robot, lower robot, have fashion towards robot. Then the kind of profession and the law towards your son, your daughter. Amen. Do we get the difference? I'll try to mark out the difference. Hallelujah. So when I'm in the beginning, Give up this pattern of reproduction life. 
and this stewardship. We're going to seek another capacity of intelligence or wisdom. Which is a good, could, could, or excellent, outstanding, high value, treasure in the eyes of angels. But not in the eyes of our Father. I mean, hallelujah, our Heavenly Father. <coughs> this conference symbolically is marked up by two trees. The trees of knowledge, good and evil, versus the tree of life. It's a literally different life form, different essence, a highlight of life. The still, still, still stand true today. Do you want to be the most excellent, wise, capable angels? Or you want to be a son of God? Once we understood this privilege of sonship, that to be like our creator as his son. That a promise of sonship, that a right and a promise of the sonship is a third. Because man's disobedience. Inspired by the lie, capital, the lie, the devil imputed to them. God, Almighty God, cannot continue to be their father, spiritual father anymore. Are they allowed to preserve a seed through humanity? Waiting for the right time for it to come back. And produce uh, his kind for human race, his kind, his idea of human race in the beginning. In the Bible, they call the songs Adam. Now, begin to have the potential or have the the the, 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 the chance to become sons of God. In last session in the topic of on the order of Mr. Day. We visited Abraham's faith at his encounter with this very mystical personality. We highlighted Abraham's desire for righteousness, amen, for justice, for goodness. 
vile Ibrahimu na tukaonyesha vile Ibrahimu alivyo na mambo yake na nataka muelewe mambo haya which is found in the representation of this king Melchizedek king of Salam nataka muelewe kwamba haikwenda nje lakini anapatikana kwa kwa mfano anaitwa Salam na anakuja kama kuhani mbele za teki later day the author Hebrew, I believe, is Paul, expounded it. The representation what it means is a, it's a peace and a, and a righteousness in the kingdom of God. More than as a, a, a result of a life. But as a we of life, how this getting going about, how this getting established. Why we should differentiate the two? Because uh, Adam had it all peace, righteousness in the garden. Yes, he was. Yes, but he was not taught how to make it happen, how to maintain it, how to attain unto it. Whereas that's a true content and purpose for discipleship in the Lord. That means, this is set of knowledge, different nature of knowledge and wisdom is given us to partake. And only when Jesus came, uh, Jesus Christ came back to earth, sent to earth, amen, the sending apostolic ministry restores through Jesus Christ. First, you born into this life. Then you grow up in this life, be taught this wisdom. Amen. Come with me to John the Gospel in the beginning now. This is the word become flesh, what it means. Amen. Bless the Lord. Is that amazing? Eleven said, Hallelujah, in, in chapter 1, Tan said, He was in the world, in this cosmos, in this world, man. Hallelujah. So the world was made through him because God, for this very reason, created everything. That he can have a family song. Whereas Christ is the firstborn or the seed for this life. Today we use a philosophical word called the prototype. Am I something you print out and never change? It's the image. You print, you print, you print. You print. 
ukiongea mambo yanabadilika kwa sababu unaushujaa na akili nyingi the word print there have three meanings it's a seal it's print it is a model it's a pattern hallelujah hallelujah <laughs> and then it's an image it's an image amen it's an image in genesis in the beginning said we are created man was created in god's image where is the print where is the pattern where his intent or purpose made visible, made known. Become a living being. Become a man. Hallelujah. But in essence, in name, is the son of God. Is the son of God. Is the son of God. In this light, there are many confusions through the church history of the differentiation for angels and the sons. Because some of this gospel has not been clearly revealed or enlightened in man's heart. Not well taught. Amen. This is said, before I came, no one has seen the form of the Father. No one had to even see his face. That's the reason. And only those born of him with the gospel he, he gave to us. He is able to see and enter to the kingdom. Am I this reality? This culture. So what is he talking about? What is he talking about? The kingdom. Kingdom may be a, 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 a realm or some reality, whatever you call it. It's a way of life that what he's talking about. A culture. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Let's turn to John the Gospel in the beginning. I need to preach the Gospel to you all so that you receive the true Gospel, if you will. One ten. And I will go to 11 now. The world did not recognize him, you know? They came to the world that created for him. He should be the light. It's like a sign we look up to. Amen? He should be the perfect model for them. Yeah, because man's heart will cower like in the wheel or calloused with the true desire God created for their life for. Amen? Hallelujah. When they, when they found the perfect picture, they can't recognize who he is. Mm -hmm. Let, let me give you a modern day example again because we need the apply to open the minds. Everybody looking at a beautiful actor actress in the movie today. We admire them. Oh, we want to be like them. You dress like them, you even apply surgery or face, whatever you want to be like them, you talk like them. Whatever going wrong, even created a friendship or endeavors, try to be like an actress or actor. Am I? Because they're beautiful in your eyes. Amen. How many young people doing that? How many people think that's a good thing to do? Then you have a man. Mm -hmm. 
Sasa anajaribu kuuliza ni nani anaweza tenda mambo kama haya. Amen. Say ya mahibi lost all his hair. He's uh his yeah. eyes well he lost one his eyes. He's a creepo. Mm. He's old. Mm-hmm. But he's a full of wisdom. Full of wisdom. Lakini pia Let's not see even godly wisdom. Let's see this is a guy who <laughs> wrote the movie. <laughs> Amen. Amen. This is a guy who wrote the movie. Huh? Make the movie possible. Amen. Amen. You know, he has the uh, best regard honor from the producers, um, actors, the directors, all the movie people, the professional to know. This is a guy give them the story. Make their life happen. <laughs> But if we are the common people walk on the streets in Hollywood. <laughs> in front of you this two person stands, a beautiful actress and there's this a terrible looking <laughs> disformed man. Amina. Who are you going to want to be friend with? Who are you going to show honor to? Amina. Hope we, hope, I think we are, if we don't have a good eye, understand, know the culture of Hollywood, a movie, know the relationship thereof, know who they are. Can you blame yourself for being attracted and feel happy when when the the good actor tried to be your friend? Try to talk to you. You excited a little bit. Amen. Because that's your That's your knowledge. Is. That's your where your information is. Amen. Let's see this gentleman who is the author or the story giver. He dressed poorly. He may even smell a little bit, you know? You will say, "Hey, go away, go away! Don't talk to me." Uh huh. I don't, I don't blame you for doing that because you don't know better. I'll give you some weird example to apply why Jesus is not honored, received by his own people. Amen. Hala by his own people. So for you, if you believe him, receive him, you born of another wisdom, born into another culture. Mm-hmm. Amen. You, be- <laughs> you become another kind of human being. Can I see that? Mm-hmm. And this can only be done through the spiritual light you see as you become a spiritual person. Mm. Now we have the ability to like a person, I don't like a person, and then have the ability to change our perception at once we learned who they really are and the culture of a movie, whatever. What if you're blinded? You don't see this at all. Mm-hmm. You born or you grew up in a secret place, you never see a movie. You never know anything about the movie culture. Mm-hmm. Amen. Think about it. That's what the human can't be locked in. They were totally blinded to spiritual life, spiritual truth. I mean, not have glimpse yes. and, you know John the Baptist is the best prophet the one knows more than anyone else about this coming kingdom this coming messiah have more light Because he was a yeah. sent messenger to prepare the way. Yeah. He had more light than anyone else Amen. before him after Adam. Amen. 
Yet he said, Jesus testified, said, He's just a lamb in the darkness when you have John the Baptist. He's just a lamb. Mm -hmm. A lamb is not like today, can lead out the whole room. It's a, it's a weak with a little bit of oil. You carry this little, what is it called? Uh, you know what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. And then, you know, carry yeah. a little bit of lamb. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I mean a little bit, a little bit tiny, yeah. tiny, <laughs> tiny like, finger size of a, <laughs> of a flame. Amen. I mean, listen to you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. <laughs> but not the Son of God. The Son of God is a uh, the light, the light, the light. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The full representation of who God intended, what God's intent is, God's purpose is, and God's provision for us about. To become sons of God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is the light, the light, the way, the life. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Brother, sister, I don't want to challenge you, but I don't know what God you heard. But when I heard this gospel, yes. all other foolish ideas of life disappeared. Oh, I inspiration, desire of life disappeared. I want to know this life. I want to know this life. Hallelujah. Can you really get the essence of the gospel? You have a better life through your faith in Christ Jesus than John the Baptist, than Moses, than David. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. The Adam. Amen. <laughs> to see the list. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. What was lost? On a damned account, in Christ Jesus, fully come back to us through our faith in Him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is that not the gospel? Amen. That's our gospel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's our gospel. Amen. Amen. Now that's good samples, God's work. That's the blessed ones. We are more blessed than them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. From the past. Hallelujah. Look in the past. Amen. What about the cursed one? What the rebellious one? The devil is a bad archangel. Hallelujah, hallelujah. But you have a life. <laughs> By birthright, from the very beginning, have a life form, privilege, better than angels. Can you think about that? <laughs> I'm not saying angels are going to trouble you or stop you to the opposite. They're going to work very hard for this life to be robbed off of you and stop you in the track to be perfected or mature in Christ Jesus. That's his, somehow Amen. his job. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. But we need to know what life we have when we have faith in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a life Amen. from the starting point. Amen. More excellent than angels. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. Now, are you freed? When angels come against you, the bad angels, the devil, through all kinds of things, and you try to rob you, destroy this life, rob you of this faith, you should not be afraid now. Hallelujah. Paul said, Angels, demons, hallelujah, love for death. Can never rob this love of God from us? Hallelujah, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. 
when we are born of Christ, we become a sons of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Back to John the Gospel. I need to preach the Gospel. So I want you to come to the light, this light, not my personal light, the light of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. We need to have the sure foundation the first. Foundations are always started to see the seed of the gospel of the Lord. Amen. The gospel of sonship. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Examine the gospel. Yes, Examine yeah. the scriptures. From the beginning to the end, the scripture is a testing fire this life. Amen. Amen. And there are no other foundation to be laid. In term of ministry in the name of the Lord concerns other than Christ Jesus. He's a cornerstone. Amen. He is a cornerstone. He's a bedrock. Amen. Hallelujah. He's a seed. He's a seed from the glorious garden. Amen. Amen. Mm. So let's back to this, backtrack it back to John the Gospel. That's how John understood it. Amen? Hallelujah. We're not talking about something <laughs> not in the Bible. It should be highlighted in the Bible, always. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Would you believe fairy tale today? Tell your angel going to marry a man. I'm not saying that. The so scholarship may be good or bad, I don't care. But by nature, by nature, sons of God, I don't care if they did that or not. Not the point. The point is, Amen. who are we when we believe Christ Jesus? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are angel going to be so sons of God? Are you giving me a break? Amen. Do you know what sons of God really about? Give me a break. Amen. Are you going to call your son's daughters a robot? Give me a break. <laughs> but those kind of things fly around as if a high knowledge. Actually, by a worry examination, the standard I give to you, he really don't have much of the gospel is about. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Do we understand that? Angels cannot reproduce. That's the character of angels. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen? Uh, once, amen? Hallelujah. Once you are saved. Amen? Hallelujah. This reproduction amen. process of economy is taken away from you. Hallelujah. You are no longer to have this economy anymore. Amen. Do you understand that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It yes. only exists. In the age of man, amen, hallelujah. Once you enter into God's age, kingdom age, amen, Christ age, this no longer going to happen. Hallelujah. There is a process. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This was seeds. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are not giving marriage or receive marriage because no need for this way to reproduce life anymore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. These are so confusing topic, almost taboo topic in Christian circles. That's because the foundation was lost. The gospel is obscured away. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Think about it. Go ahead. When you understand who Christ Jesus is, will you put his mother as if she's the one going to bless you with the tremendous heavenly blessings? Mary, the mother of Jesus, has to become a disciple of assumption in order to enter the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Just like you and me. 
and to start over. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So would you believe some religion or some doctrines based on those things? Give me a break. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Examine the gospel. David call him my Lord. Actually, the psalm gonna gonna visit it here a little bit as a continuation. So now I preach a little bit the essence, the sonship, the gospel of sonship, the gospel of the glory of God. This is through sonship. This honor, privilege, this this essence of life of God is imparted. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What kind of father want to impart his wisdom, his his good, his goodness, his his honor, his privilege, whatever he has to the son? What kind of father is that? Amen. Hallelujah. That's kind of love we have received. If we become sons of God through Christ, he said, am I? His disciples first. Amen. Your newborn baby, am I? Grew up in this gospel. Grew up in this spiritual life. Become a full-fledged son. Then you will grow up in God's love. Amen. Hallelujah. But that's Amen. a different kind of wisdom. Adam was not able Amen. to partake. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, he chose all the human race with him, choose another way of wisdom. Am I? The tree of knowledge, good and evil. Am I? Good and evil. Good and evil. Take matter in your own hand. That means good and evil. Am I? That's good. That's evil. Who told you? Not God the Father. He never even imparted that to you yet. Am I? Hallelujah. Is that not you search it? Am I? Is that not rebellion? Am I? Is that not ignorant? More than ignorant. If we choose intentionally to do that and treat it as a high pleasure, delight, high inspiration for a man, that's rebellion. Am I? That's a deception there. Amen. Amen. How many am I doing that today? Am I? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ, our Father in heaven, is not impressed by those wise men, intelligent men. Keep a woman. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't he? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't be fooled by the appearance of a thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look into the heart of a mantra. Amen. Hallelujah. Look in the heart of a mantra. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible Amen. says, A rather dwell in a poor tent of a righteousness. Then have a attend a feast, be a higher guest in the sense, in the palace of wicked man. Hallelujah, hallelujah. That's more than a moral choice, amen, for us today. In the light of the gospel, it's a life of death in you, amen, hallelujah, amen. It's a life of death in you, amen. Make it sense to you, brothers, sisters, amen, hallelujah, hallelujah. Think about it, amen, think about it. Before the judgment seat of God, He will make up to feet for this choice. Amen. Remember the rich man Lazarus cried to Abraham, Please help me to bring message to my brother because he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to run into the police room, tortured, lost. Amen. Abraham said. <laughs> Abraham said, Sorry, my friend. Today's word, sorry, buddy. <laughs> so, can I help you? <laughs> Because 
Now Abraham cannot help, but we can by the gospel. On that a privilege. I'm not give you a give you a hard probability. That's a reality. That's what's really before you. <laughs> and I, I'm not giving false inspiration. I give you gospel 101. <laughs> it, it's not a movie. It's not a dream. It's not just a feature. Amen. What the Moses cannot do, what the angel cannot do, what the Abraham cannot do, through Christ Jesus, we as his church on earth can do it and will do it. That's the ministry we highlighted through Christ Jesus. The other music that found a willing, willing, volunteered people to serve in this life for this ministry. The ministers of New Covenant. Amen. Ambassadors of the Kingdom of God. Steward of eternal life. A messenger of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is that not right? Amen. Hallelujah. That's discipleship is really about. In the Bible, this is called New Testament ministry in Christ Jesus. All the Father's business. Mm -hmm. All the Father's business. Amen. Hallelujah. So from a seed of a life to the mature life of sonship. That is a good news Jesus came and preached and taught. But you know the sad story with his earthly ministry in Miss God's people in those days, the Jewish people. Let me now use my word. Let's, let's turn to the Apostle John, his word. He described this in 1 chapter 1, Gospel John 11, he said. He came to that which was his home, his kinsman. The one should call family, brothers, am I? Brothers, family. Kinsman. But his own people did not receive him. Yet to all who received him, to those who believe in his name, give a full notes here, what it means to believe his name. Believe he's the son of God. Also with that, his word is true that you can become disciples and be a son of God. The name of the Father and the Son become one in his ministry, which is discipleship. He gives the right 
to become cho- sons of God, those children of God. Or for spring God, let's use that word. Seize God, am I? Seize all friends. It's confusing because the Hebrew is all borrowed from Hebrew. Hebrew is the same word, a branch of spring, a son. Okay? You, the key is that you have a father. Amen? You have a father. <laughs> With a father, family, and a family name. Amen. Hallelujah. In English, we didn't call the last name. Amen. In Chinese, we call the first name. It's a family name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You came from somewhere. Amen. You plug into a culture. You represent somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. So he come in the Father's name as a son. This is Christ. Amen. He came in the Father's name as his son. Amen. Hallelujah. So his gospel, his disciples said, Would you like to be like me? Become a son of God. <laughs> and you will share my family name, my, which is the fa- from the fatherhood God. You'll be my brother, my family. Amen? That's what it means. Now, if you understand the rejection of the Jewish people of our Lord, it's so profound. It's so profound. As a chosen people of all humanity, this is the most privileged and ready, prepared to receive this gospel to become God's family. God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when the Son of God came to them, there's the first one rejecting. What a tragedy. What a tragedy. The tragedy is doesn't fall on that generation or from the Jewish people through the ages. I mean, ages the past. Prepare for this moment. The transit has been when on the balance of the interest of all human race. And because human race is a crown God's creation for all the creation. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because it's more than for one generation, rather, this is the hope of all ages. Cross ages. The hope of all ages. I try to highlight the balance, the wheat. If it's ended on this end as a loss, but God said, no, my balance and I'll be lost. I'm going to uh, end those weeks through those mm-hmm. believing ones. And nullify the word of the devil. Amen. A human blindness. <laughs> Even one seed is worthwhile. That's how important we are. 
if we believe in Christ Jesus. In this slide, are you see for a blissful future, Mary, eternity? Or should receive the privilege as your birthright? To be disciple taught by the Father to become a mature a full endowed son. Just as our Lord Jesus Christ was. Amen. Hallelujah. When he was on earth. That's what is in the mind of John when he wrote this gospel. In 12, continue, Gospel chapter 1, Gospel John chapter 1, 12 said, Yet to those also who receive him, I appeal, if someone has not really believed this gospel or have other idea of gospel, I appeal to you. There is only one gospel. Only one gospel. Amen. It's not different school thoughts or different interpretation of scriptures. It is your life in Christ Jesus matters. So we better make sure we know the gospel. Some of you will see that when such gospel is preached, all the sins in heaven rejoice. That's why Jesus said, the angel going to dance when the soul receives the gospel, being saved. Right for the soul, right for the soul. Because you examine Christianity even, those who believe Jesus, claim the gospel. How many has uh, even touched the fringe of the gospel sonship. Even today, many want to heal people, prophesy, do all kinds of things, one's life, serve the poor. I'm not blaming them. They may don't know better. But once this God, this gospel get a hold of your heart, or you get a hold of the heart of this gospel, would you even put those things on the same table with this service? This is discipleship. What kind of food are you going to partake? What kind of food are you going to serve? That's a feast we're talking about. God's a feast. Mm. 
I don't know about you, Jesus said. Those are crumbs under my table. Amen? Those are crumbs by my table. My king on here. My fellowship. My discipleship is to share this bread, this wine, which is the most holy. Even the other amuses deck. The ministry of a new covenant. In every way it's new. Amen. The same John in his epistle first John said, For our fellowship, his apostle ministry, his apostle discipleship, is with the Father. Okay. Uh, with the song, not ourselves. We didn't make this up. It was given to us as a ministry, as entrustment. Brother, well, sister, is it far fetching? Let me just use a simple example to narrow it down. This is what Jesus said. You see, I want to live for any will, any courage, any will, any will, any will. And break through every wall, every wall, every wall in your mind, in your heart. So this is truth of the gospel. Get hold of your heart. Amen. Clean your heart. Are you still resisting this gospel? Are you going to defile this gospel, which is most holy, most precious, most valuable, the best gift God can give to a man? Let me hammer your head a little bit. Let me shake your core a little bit. So you can wake up from your sleep. Hallelujah. And come to the light and leave. God don't care about your social status, your knowledge, your experiences. Nada, 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 zero, nada. He wants to see the real essence for you to come to life. Come alive, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. So, amen. Let everything that can be shaken, let it be shaken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let this cornerstone set in your heart. Amen. And build up the real house. Let us scream and proclaim from this year on. No more wasting our life. We shall build and labor and help to build up this house. Amen. 
ambaye atapendeza Mungu naona damu imepotoka naona Mungu Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did I got your attention? Hallelujah. Shake off your old garments. Put on the new. Here's the new. Even our glory and joy to become a son of God in our faith, believing the true gospel. Some may think this is so far-fetching. But this is a starting point. This is the 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 stage of the beginnings. If you're a farmer, Jesus tell us to be wise farmer. If you're a farmer, don't do you examine what can see in the planting in the field? You so carefully prepare. After you have a uh, rooted up, burn off of the thorn thistles, do you want a weed to plant weed, weed, tires? To plan your field. By definition, such is the foolish farmer. But God wants us to be wise people. Amen. To have his wisdom, to be true sons. This holiness, this pattern, are for you to serve, to bring this gospel to others. Is that not what you committed as a minister of God's word? I hope so. If not, then come to the light to be changed. So let me use any Christian, any believers will know this prayer, Jesus. To demonstrate that this is not a far-fetching fantasy, some other high-minded gospel. Who as a minister, believer, don't remember the Lord's prayer, he tells us to pray. Hello. Hallelujah. Hello be thy name, Father in heaven. Amen. Who called this God the Father if you're not the Son? Can you? When you pray such, would not He expect you to believe you are Son? Or else why pray such? Let me give quick in you, okay? If I have this direct connection with my heavenly father as a son of earth, what I care about 
a mother heaven to say I don't want to be ugly or controversial. I'm saying that what a robberous! The simple gospel being perverted, replaced by other things. And no mercy is that it's a bad thing. It's a thing of concern. That's because we're numb, we're sleepy. Let me give you this picture now. See Jesus here with us. With our belief he is. That's why his spirit is so intense through me. Do he gonna sit in the back bench and let things like that nature go on? I hope you know the Jesus. The zeal for the father's house. Drive him crazy almost. He acting like a madman. Turn off the money to the table. Chase out the wrong characters in the temple. This is Jesus who instructs this gospel writer, John, the future is mother, and the feet of the cross. I rather frustrate the mother through his, uh, the time his ministry among the disciples. Because Mary did not yet believe the gospel. Now, today, after all things changed, thousand years later, would he bring Mary in Aramis and said, Hey guys, in the sea to her. Because you believe my gospel? What absurdity that would be. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you are truly have given the right to become a spiritual son, can have a direct communication with the Heavenly Father. I have more harsh words to say about that, but I will not <laughs> will spare you. But let me see this. When Jesus in instructed the disciple how to pray to the Heavenly Father, what he said, Hallowed be thy name, Father in heaven. Thy kingdom come. Become a reality. Claim a people. Manifest a culture. On earth. On earth. As in heaven. That is his ministry. That is his discipleship. Turn back to John the Gospel 112. But all who received him, who those who believe his name, children born not for Mary or Joseph, but born of the Holy Spirit, not even Abraham 
or David, even by the natural descendants, this was their offspring. God, in the forebears of Jesus Christ, even have a rehab. Ruth becomes the including the mother in, in, in the family line. Hallelujah! In the through the marriage. So even in the natural of spring, that lifeline or lineage of life. God said, it's the Father who matters. How about us who believe the gospel sonship and become, mm -hmm, become offspring? Of this God on high, Hallelujah. So the spiritual life that is born out of us, Amen. Born into our life. Mm -hmm. We are born of God. We are born of God. I'm not a robot, Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Now, I, 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 I don't care what Rabbi can do. I want to be that little baby. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm. Where the, the creator, the Rabbi, will say, that's my masterpiece. That's, that's the best my product. But this one is my beloved son. With that also on the highlight, more than the important recognize what ministry you come here are receiving and what we're presenting. And I hope the gospel that I hear announced to you. We'll clear up the vision, the path, what kind of wisdom, what kind of teaching you want to receive. To, to, this, to, this, to this, I want to add something for clarity. Supernatural, miracle signs. Even spiritual gifts from above given to you. Are only to serve the ministers of the word of God. Which we had many and continue going to have more. Hallelujah. It will overflow even. But remember what a fish really is a suited in. For, for our fellowship with the Father Son. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the fist, the content our partaking is a life of the Son. Well, I will continue to expand 
或者是 Heavenly Order、Heavenly Grace， 爸爸爸。Through a possible ministry or other supporting ministries, brings this culture, this grace on earth. To first claim a people. Then educate or disciple people. Hallelujah.、Mm-hmm. By finally, they can be sent out to reproduce. And this kind of life is a kind of culture. This kind of life, this kind of culture.、Mm. Brothers, sisters, personally, I want to testify. I've been have many encounters in input from God through the years. But more and more, more and more. My vision is more clear than ever before. That I understand. Discipleship, indeed, is a hidden plan God, as the business of father. Rightfully so, because that's what Jesus gave to the disciples, his disciples, before the departure. Whereas. He began to entrust them the continual work of his ministry. Let's read that as a summary to this message in twenty-eight chapter Matthew. We're going to turn to the Great Commission, verse sixteen. There. No great exposition needed. Let's plainly read the scripture with you, and then reflect with you, with this message as a context. To highlight the ministry discipleship in the receiving, as the giving of it or serving of it. Matthew twenty-eight sixteen. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee. Basi, wakam. To the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worship him, but some doubted. Jesus, I got a call. I can say my now. I can ambia. Metewa mamla kayo te pinguli na tunyan. Then Jesus came to them. I said. Jesus, I got which a call. I can say. Oh, oh, authority in heaven and earth. 
has been given to me. Therefore, be sent. Be sent out. And make disciples for all peoples. Baptize them in the name of the Father, of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Discipling them to follow everything that I taught you. Surely, are we, I will be your companion, partner always. To the very end of this age, ma'am, I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Mm. With that, I want our brother Tin to bless you all. To the work of the Holy Spirit. That this is a seed of eternal life. That this is a seed of eternal life. This is a word of truth. This is a ministry from above. Well, be received by your heart. Okay. May the Spirit of God will work a work tremendous miracles. Make it grow, make it grow, and bear fruits. And bear fruits. Brother Tim, please do us the honor to bless the brother. Lord, I pray that we come in. Lord, through the ancient gates. Lord, touch the hearts and minds. Lord, may the pathway be cleared for the King of Kings. Lord, would you strike the hearts, our arms, and draw those near to you. Who would be called by this name and for this purpose? That you might have for yourself a people called by your own name your own people your own people what no people. longer the men of the earth or of a lowly birth but those who are born of the seed of heaven and called your sons that they may know you, love you, and fellowship with you. And work with you, Father, in your business. Lord, let this be our great blessing to co-labor with you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Alléluia, bless the Lord. Your presence supreme. Your presence supreme in our lives. Father, guide our steps. In the name of Jesus. Remove anything, any any old, any old sin in our lives. That Lord we begin. We have a new beginning in our lives. You change change of mind that you can glorify your name in jesus name we receive your word we receive your word all of at it flowed that lord let us just not be good repenters but let's be with actions Lord. in the name of jesus this is apostolic verse Apostolic grace. No, 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 it is. Will be a people who will hear you. Will be a people who are 
Mend the broken heart, Lord. Heal yes. us. Yes. Comfort us. But above all, Lord, lead us on. Lead us on. We shall follow, we shall follow, we shall follow. Hallelujah. We volunteer, Lord, for this privileged life, this wonderful life, this glorious life. Mm -hmm. yes. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is good. He is always faithful. He more than sees, but he smiles at us when we commit our life into his hands. Even to go about his business. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. To strengthen, Lord. Strengthen. Strengthen. Strengthen the feeble hand, Lord. The need ready to give in. But that's not good enough, Lord. You want us to march on, march on. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So I pray for every low place to raise up. Every high place to bring down, Lord. This is highway holiness. Be our path, Lord. 
and lead us on, Lord. Lead us on in Jesus' name. With the songs of praise and oration to the Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yes, when I used to see fuel, I'm out. When I used to see fuel, Moses, can you? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> hey, brother. Mm. Wow. Yes, when I when I used to see fuel. Langu kwa kwa ni kukushkuru. Moses, speak into the mic. I'm so sorry. I can't hear you then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need to turn yeah. the mic to your direction, Moses. I'm so sorry. It's just word blurry when you don't do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, when you just minister, when you began ministering. Mm -hmm. Una mambo mengi nimeweza umeweza kutembeza ndani na uh, I've never felt and I've never experienced the grace that than today. Mm -hmm. I have been uh, fellowshipping coming to these uh, meetings but today was so different for me. Uh, I'm a pastor. I've ministered the gospel. Mm. The, the things you have just uh, uh, spoken today, I'm part of, I'm also a man who have not been walking in God's ways. Mm. You have spoken heartedly, and I see that I, I have been not having good time with the Lord. Mm. And I've been working alone, and yet I minister to the people. Mm -hmm. I thank the Lord for sending you here mm -hmm. to change such a soul like me, mm -hmm. to take me from sin and bring me back to the glory mm -hmm. and to listen to the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. A man of God. The things you have just spoken here, mm. especially when you talked about being the priest in the house of God. Mm. You talked about the the order of Melchizedek and and uh, Melchizedek and how he became the the priest. This has changed my whole life. There are things we do for ourselves mm. so that we can receive the glory mm. or we can gain some, you know, some, some respect from people. Mm. The men of God don't get respect mm. from, for their own. Mm. Mm. This brings me mm. that we have a new beginning. Mm. Oh. When you have just read the the last book, Matthew chapter twenty-eight, mm. beginning from verse uh, sixteen. Mm. When Jesus Christ giving the authority now to go out, being disciples now. Mm. I feel I was in a rush, but now I see I have now received the new power. When you raised your hand and when you read, I was struck down by the Holy Spirit. And uh, I, I, if you see on my face. Mm. Uh, yes, the glory of God is upon you. And the power of God is you upon see, you. You mm. see, I have seen 
the new heaven coming down. Mm. And uh, I saw, I've seen the, the, the multitude of angels worshiping in heaven mm. and uh, glorifying God when you have just been speaking and speaking. Mm. I saw the heaven open mm. and man of God, you, the Lord changed your face. Mm. And you became, uh, you became, uh, you know, you became a very powerful fire, mm. and the fire was burning sin in our lives. Mm. Mm. I see you are not, you are not in Bungoma, mm. but the fire was burning here, mm. and I can tell you. Uh, God has changed our lives indeed last for the last years mm. we have never experienced I see God is doing a new thing mm. man of God when you pray when, allow me to pray my brother father we bless your holy name Today, I acknowledge your apostolic ministry in my life. And today, I repent all the sins that I've done, and I pray that God will change me completely, and I will now bless your word and my brother, with who have you, whom you have raised as an apostle in our midst. We receive this grace of apostolic. And we will be the, the, the fruit and the seed of good, of good priesthood. Yes. I pray and we receive and we say yes and thank you, Lord, for what you have done. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Yes, Moses. Lay hands on his right shoulder. Bless him. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 One, Hallelujah. That you are righteous see God be continue to terminate in his life that he will bear fruit that will bring you yield to your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we receive this grace and we declare this grace in his life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bless you, brother. Amen. Thank you. Thank Amen. you for sharing. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Excuse <laughs> <laughs> me. Mm. Mm. Uh, Hello, brother. Who is this? Who is this? Chris, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my brother, I also join uh, the man of God here, and I want to tell you that uh, first, thank you. I've been praying for you. Mm, thank you. Indeed, uh, where when you began ministering, I want to say that uh, God has changed my life through your ministration. Mm. You. When you began, there's something you talked about that has changed the whole of my life, especially when you take the, your identity, where what the names can link you from where you come from, and you really nurtured on that. And I can tell you, in Africa, even the men of God always are given the names of the clan. Mm -hmm. 
うんうんSpeak to this gentleman. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me speak to him. Hallelujah. Let me see your face. Hallelujah. The fire that I've never experienced in my life. Oh, wow. Mm. Mm. Uh, I've, like now, when I've just been looking at your face, there are things about the power is burning in my life mm. and uh, destroyed, the evil spirits have been destroyed in my yes. life, yes. and I see change and transformation mm. in my life. Man, let me see his face. Let me see the face. The joy of the Lord is our strength. 
anything, Robert your joy, we declare with you. Let it be gone. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. Amen. Love a bit. The Lord told me to love a bit. <laughs> love often. Hallelujah. He said that uh, he's part of the, pe the people that you prayed for, and uh, uh, last Sunday he was given land, and uh, he has he's now getting relocated from where he has been oh. there he was surrounded with by witchcraft yeah. but right now yes. he's now at liberty as you can see mm. that is why he's taking that when you look you look at when you look at him mm. the fire comes and expands many things in his life yes yes i see a lot of things said try to entangle you to repress oppress you let's see oppress you hallelujah let me look at your eyes again hallelujah thank you be gone in the name of Jesus. Be gone in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Be gone. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be gone in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Moses, put your thumb, right hand thumb, on his uh, in between his eyes. In between his eyes. Hold on, hold on. Don't pray. Don't pray yet. Put your right thumb, right thumb, thumb, the thumb. Oh, where is it? Okay, hold on. Here, right thumb. Where's my right thumb? Here, put it. Put it in between his eyes. In his eye, between his eyes, between his eyes, in the worst center of his eyes, above his nose. Yes, that's where it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cancel any agreement or covenant from the devil. Especially this blood covenant. I cancel it in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Be free now, in Jesus' name. Any word spoke against you or about you be cancelled by the word of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Balanda Son. Go ahead. Thank you so much, man of God. Mm -hmm. I feel at liberty, and I see indeed I was under slavery, and uh, you continue, you have continued to pray for me, yeah. and I see the, the, the grace upon my life. Indeed, I've gone a lot. I've gone through a lot in my life. Mm. Yes. May mm. God bless you and mm. thank you so much. You bet. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Amen. Oh, brother Emmanuel, mm. allow some these people. Some of them are yeah. very far. Yeah. You you can you, we, you feel we? free. Yeah, to wrap up. Hallelujah. Mm. Amen. Why don't you pray for us, brother, and we wrap it up. Mm -hmm. mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, we have seen your grace that we have never experienced in our lives. We bless Brother Emmanuel, we bless Brother Tim, we bless Brother John. Mm. 
We bless them as they stand as a partner for this, for, as a pillar, as pillars of Africa, as pillars of in every nation. We see your glory through them, and we see you giving us the light through them, Lord. Even the word that is spoken here today, Lord, we pray that we have a new beginning in our life, and our life will change for completely, not only today, but forever. Mm. We want to see you, we want to see your glory more and more every day. <laughs> In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' Amen. name. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Amen. So good to have you all. Bring our best to your family, congregation. May the Lord blessing be with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Moses, we're going to see you next time. It's good to see your face, brother. <laughs> you feel better, yeah, am I? Yeah. You feel better. We may be seeing, uh, we may be seeing you tomorrow. Oh, it? yeah. <laughs> okay. Can't get rid of you this day. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, bless you, brother. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amen. See you tomorrow. Amen. Okay. You. Okay. Bye. Amen. Yeah. Uh -huh. bye, bye. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <coughs>